Leaves litter like lobsters on the seabed along the orchard meadow. A young boy sits beneath an apple tree, watching the other children run and shout happily while he remains silent. None approach. Some look on and wonder, but they hold their tongue. He tilted his head, expressionless, a still but hopeful gaze. Smiles were but more apples from the tree above to him. Holding a bruised child up the tree in his small, scarred hand, he wondered what it would taste like. Screams fill the air once more. A drunk is laying in the front room, as a dreaded man spits and punches the air in his presence. A shaken house soon settled, unlike the orchard boy's heart. Alone, he sat once more, sketching comics, writing stories. An apple sat on the desk next to him. He was drawing on his lap. Questions rang the dusty air of the room from a shaken pair of ravens at the doorway. They went unnoticed. The awkward hinges of the door pushed against its closure. Another door is burst open. Chairs are thrown with punches as rage burns the calm of the woods. A strange, raven-haired boy is battling the orchard boy with more shouts. Soon the shouts fade into tears as dawn melts away into the night. The cold blue hue of a digital remedy illuminating the dark. Winter had claimed the orchard. Blue turned grey as a howling wind dries the teary eyes in a memorial garden of roses. No leaves fell. No apples. No orchard. Winter would last a long while before the spring. The orchard boy came across a lady adorned in floral gowns and crowns, beauty reminiscent of Aphrodite herself. Laughter reverberated throughout the cafes, smiles lingered in the halls of historic magnitude, for she was the true exhibit. He held such admiration in a closed palm as her hand grabbed the other. For a time, the tree began to blossom once more. However, oak must harden if it is to survive. As seven magpies spied his way, the orchard boy would carry on, lonesome evermore. Now the orchard boy sits again beneath the tree, watching passers-by smile. Another apple fell down by his side. Perhaps this time, it might be good to have a taste.